Hi, everybody. I'm Akshay Parthasarathy, Product Marketing Director at Oracle Cloud Infrastructure. I'm delighted to be joined today by Roy Ilsley, Chief Analyst of the Cloud and Data Center Practice at Omdia. We want to talk to you about cloud computing broadly and also Oracle Cloud Infrastructure, its benefits, relevance to heterogeneous applications, and its TCO advantages. We hope to inform you about why leading brands such as Zoom, Mazda, and 7-Eleven have chosen OCI, and you should consider us too. Welcome, Roy. Could you tell us a bit more about your background and about your current role at Omdia? Yeah, sure, actually. Well, my name's Roy Osley. I'm a chief analyst at Omdia. Um, I've been an analyst for nigh on 20 years now, so I'm quite, quite well sort of versed in the act of being an analyst. Um, and over that time, I've covered many different topics from data center management, IT service management. So I've got a long history of uh, understanding the, the actual pain points of uh, CIOs uh, and data center operators uh, and, and IT in general. Great. Welcome, Roy. Um, I want to also talk about um, something you... Uh worked on recently. You authored a few articles about cloud computing and OCI, particularly in the context of today's environment, right? So uh, can you tell us a bit more about your observations about the pandemic and the general trends in cloud adoption? Yeah, sure. I mean, we do, as I said, I, I, uh, I'm responsible for the end user surveys. And the end user surveys we, we run are called ICT Enterprise Insights. And we run them about every September timeframe. And it covers seven, 8,000 um, decision makers across the globe. Uh, so in 2019, we found that the uh, average percentage of workloads in production in the cloud was around about 25%. When we ran it in September of 2020, that figure jumped to 35%. So you know, the pandemic, as bad as it's been for everybody, has actually created some some good in terms of IT because it's forced organizations to do things that they plan to do, but have been putting off for some time. Very interesting, right? Um, so in your article, you also highlight some of Oracle Cloud Infrastructure, our cloud offering, uh, and its key benefits. I'm wondering whether you can explain to us why all clouds are not the same, and where you see Oracle Cloud Infrastructure's differentiation? Yeah, I mean, I think there's, there's three main areas I, I will pick out as where OCI is particularly strong. Um, and the first one is Oracle um, has a reputation for reliability. Um, it's also got a reputation for running mission-critical applications. It, it, it's run the databases and the apps for for its customers for many years. Another area that I think is key, and again, where Oracle has been very forward thinking uh, by comparison to other cloud providers, is in recognizing that it's going to be a multi-cloud world. And being a multi-cloud world means you need to be open. You need to be open to working with other cloud partners um, and doing things in a much more collaborative way. It may not all be based on your cloud. Your cloud may be running the database, but uh, the application may be running somewhere else. And the other piece is, and actually the piece that came out of our research, is that the fastest moving adoption for cloud is hybrid cloud. Um, there's an 18% increase by 2022 in the adoption of hybrid cloud. Um, and I think with Oracle Cloud App customer, um, and dedicated regions, you've got two very, very good offerings that provide the hybrid cloud experience. In your observations, um, do you think OCI also meets the needs of various heterogeneous applications? You touched on it a little bit in your previous answer. Yeah, I, I mean, I think um, there's a couple of things here that uh, stand out for me. In, in our ICTI survey, one of the, the top um, stated um, uh, challenges or uh, investment areas for 
enterprises, shall I say, in 2021 and 2022 was application security. Um, and security is a significant aspect of running these mission critical applications in a cloud, because traditionally these mission critical applications have been run in a data center behind the firewall of the organization in a room that you can look at and you can see that you know that box there is running that application another aspect i think where um, oci has a, a good reputation is its integration with custom applications i mean and I, and I particularly liked and bought this out in articles i've written the uh, the free migration service that uh, oracle offers which you know doesn't do everything for people but it starts them on that journey Another area I think that OCI sort of led the way in, um, others have now uh, caught up in terms of that is, uh, OCI was one of the first, if not the first cloud provider, certainly one of the first, that uh, was the first in the big five cloud providers to support for AMD. I mean, and that's important because that provides cost effective um, resources. So the other uh, aspect uh, that you're very well versed in is TCO. Right. And uh, Omdia has expense, extensive experience in TCO models and price performance analysis. Can you tell us more about what stands out to you relative to pricing and TCO advantages with Oracle Cloud Infrastructure? Yeah, well, I, mean, I, I think the, the first point here is it, it's the flexibility of the instances and the right sizing of the instances for the workload. I was having this discussion with a CIO last week and, uh, and he was going, well, the cloud's definitely much more efficient and, and that because you only pay for what you use. And my point to him was, well, you do, but if you're only 50% using an instance, you're actually paying twice what you should be. So really what you need to think about is making sure that you know, your cloud provider has the ability to right size your workload to the instance and you pay the right amount for that instance going forward. But there's also, then you bring into it the performance and, you know, do I need it to be a very fast, high performing sort of service or do I need it to be a much slower run workload? And as you're paying for it based on time, then performance becomes a critical aspect of that cost element. So anybody with a favorable price performance ratio is going to again be much better for you to use so that's another calculation you need to add in and apply there are customers such as zoom Mazda, uh, 7-eleven and many others uh, that have adopted um, oracle cloud infrastructure already and you can find that information on oracle.com customers you know one of the other things you talked about in your articles were two often overlooked factors for cloud costs. Can you tell us a bit more about these overlooked factors? Yes, these are these um these are ones that actually <laughs> cause quite a lot of pain for the CIO. And and the first one is egress charges, because when you go to your cloud provider, they will open their arms and accept you and your data into their cloud, and there's no cost for that. You can take all the data you want into that cloud. But you try and take the data out of that cloud and there is costs. That's where the costs come in. There is cost you nothing to take your data out of OCI, but you only pay a very small amount based on the bandwidth. And it's a very good sort of pricing model. With other cloud providers, you will find those, those charges can be very, very high. So if you're doing massive amounts of data, and I think, uh, actually, you've got a customer example, as I spoke about before, where somebody was doing 1.5 petabytes of data a day, um, that sort of volume of data going out quickly adds up. And I think in that example, the customer was quoted a saving of something like 80%. So you can see how this makes you know, economic sense to understand what those costs are. And then another one which is aligned to that, and it's, this is really only for the, uh, the multinationals out there, is having global pricing consistently. So if I'm using a service based in South Africa or I'm using a service based in Melbourne or New York, 
I'm paying the same for it. I'm not. Moving on uh, to our final question, um, Roy, when you're thinking about a cloud vendor as a customer, in your estimation, what are some fundamentals to consider? Some things for customers to um, evaluate uh, when selecting a cloud vendor? Well, I think there's there's a couple of things, um, but I'll keep it nice and straightforward and, and give you three, because I think three is always a nice number to take away and people to think about. It's, oh, first of all, is the cloud future ready? Is it able to run not just what you've got today, because what you've got today is fine, but you're not going to be running the same workloads today as you will be in three, four, five years time. So is it future ready? Is it built for the next wave, which is cloud native, Kubernetes? Do they offer you support in migrating to the, to the cloud? Um, and, and is this you know, free or do you have to pay for it? Yeah. And, and you know, a free service, how good is that free service? Does it get you on the road? Or is it really just a taster for you to go and actually buy something more from them? Um, so you know, think about what you've got to spend to get on that journey and keep doing it. And then finally, do they have an ecosystem or the capabilities for all the data operations you're going to need? Because it's all right thinking about the here and now and the migrating to the cloud, and that, that is important, but day two operations are really important because the data operations mean it can run, it can deliver service to people, and people get value out of it. Uh, so for the benefit of our viewers, um, the free service that Oracle provides for migration is called Lyft Services. More information is available on that on our website as well. So um, we thank you so much uh, for your perspectives on Oracle Cloud Infrastructure, Roy. We really appreciate the opportunity and your validation of our compelling cloud offerings. Okay. Uh, thank you, Akshay, and thank you for asking me here. And uh, if anybody needs to know any information about what Omdia does, you can cast Akshay or go to our website uh, and get that information as well. So thank you and enjoy this video. To learn more about OCI, please go to oracle.com slash cloud. Thank you. Take care.